Hey everybody, this is Fat Cat Pauline, and I'm back with another build challenge. I want to build a house for this sim that only costs 500 simoleons, and I like to make it look pretty nice. I don't think I can do walls, but I think I might try platforms again. I feel like I've built a platform house several times and they don't look good, but you know, maybe I can come up with one that actually does look good this time. It could, it could happen. Everything I've done so far has just been squares. And so I kind of like to do, I kind of like to do some sort of a different shape, some sort of a more creative shape, various shapes of platforms, but what good they will do me, I don't know. I'm going to do a triangular one here though, just for fun. That doesn't really do anything. Let's do this so that the fact that it is triangular makes it be something you can see from the outside see we got a little slant there um let's do another one of those over here i have no idea what i'm doing so you know if you if you get that vibe <laughs> it's true i mean we're trying to be interesting this time not not just the same old same old okay we're just gonna do something like this i'm gonna make another rectangular platform here sort of close it in but not entirely because you can't you can't close them in entirely because you can't put doors and platforms put that there and I'm going to raise them all up okay let's do a platform <laughs> red is interesting I would like it to look like something. I, I like the dark brown. Okay, that's kind of cool and interesting, you have to admit. So far I've spent $20, and I guess that was on the platform trim. I don't know what. I don't know what the 20 simoleons was for. Let's, let's take things off and see what happens. Nothing, nothing is costing any money. I'm gonna put it all back. Get my shape here. My windowless shape. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a sunroof on it, I guess. And I'm gonna put that money back to 500 because really I have no idea where it went. She maybe ordered takeout or something. If anybody knows, you can let me know. I'm gonna put a small wall here. That's a lot of money. And I'd like to put a glass door and this is the cheapest one. So I'm gonna do a glass door. I can't paint that exactly the same color, I don't think. Although that's, that's, <laughs> It's very close to the way it looks on that side, depending on how the sun's shining on it. All right, let's do... <laughs> hmm, should I do a rounded roof? <laughs> the icicles on it are not helping. They, they look funny. Oh, I don't know, maybe just a flat roof. Let's do it all the way across this way. Lower it down as much as possible. We'll scoot this over. And we'll scoot this over. And then we'll copy it and put it here. Inside, we're going to want to use construction quality concrete. I don't know. I'm just trying to build something interesting. <laughs> gonna look like she moved into an old museum or something all right now we're gonna go up here and make this part of the roof in the middle glass that helps some it should help some with the light on the inside now let's see if we can do debug furnishings I don't know what to do about this I want to put one of these in here, but I don't know if you can shrink it down to make it fit the roof height. I'm going to do construction quality concrete in a black on top of here. We'll do part of it in that. We'll do part of it in... Um, checkerboard. We'll put a fridge in here if we can. I don't think that leaves us enough for a countertop. So I'm going to get rid of that. 
I'm going to do a cooler or a snack bag. Here we go. Always has a snack bag. If we have that, we can eat. What else do we need? We have, we need lights. We do debug lights. Let's do debug lights. I'm going to do these. Ambient ceiling lights from Strangerville. It's not much of a house. <laughs> but, you know, so far we can eat, we can sleep, we can go to the bathroom, we can take a shower. I would like to have her have something that she can make a living with. But I don't know if there's anything. Ooh. She could use a crafted violin. She could make a living with a crafted violin. And um, let's see, what else could I use for her? We can't get a living room chair. Too pricey. We can get a dining room chair. Up to this one. Just pop that over there. We have two simoleons left. You know, we got some place to sit. <laughs> it's not, like I said, like I frequently said, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I'm gonna do some debug landscaping and I'll be back in just a minute. Hold on and we will see what I can do. Hey everybody, I'm back. This is what I came up with. It kind of looks like a museum. There is nothing I love more than starting with a sim like this with no money, with a crazy industrial looking building that I built for 500 simoleons to try to let her go to the dumpster and scavenge and whatever. These big panels, I keep moving them. To, to try to make a living make this into actually a nice home it does not have any windows um, and i tried to make up for that by making the roof and then putting these over here to make it kind of look like it does i also use the same panels inside scaled down to do like a room divider so that when you walk in you don't see her bed and her um toilet situation <laughs> This is all debug and not usable, but I think it looks pretty good. And there was some kind of glitch with the big panel there, so I just filled it with plants. I don't really like it. I'm thinking about taking these out and doing construction quality concrete everywhere so I can get rid of these plants right here that were just trying to cover up a glitch. I don't think that looks a little bit better. So my sim can do whatever she wants, but you know me. I'm going to make her go dig in the dumpster and furnish her house um, and maybe go fishing for money. And I'll see you next time. Bye.